Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this blueprint series, we're gonna be going over how to create a simple elevator that's gonna take your character up and down. And for the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Polygon Office Pack from Cinti. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is right click on my content folder and create a blueprint class and I'll select actor. And this actor I'm gonna call BP underscore elevator. And when I double click to go inside of it, on the left side, I'll click add and I'll add quite a few static meshes. So I'll add an elevator and then I'm just gonna copy paste this and call this switch. And then I'll copy paste again and call this one the light. And then I will add a box collision and I'll just leave it as box. And what I'm gonna wanna do is select my switch light and box and just drag it onto my elevator so that my elevator is the parent. And you'll see why we do this in a second. So now selecting the elevator, I'm gonna be using the polygon office pack that we went over and I'm just gonna select an elevator. So a static mesh of an elevator. All right, so this looks good. And now I'll add a light, which is also in the office pack and they have a light panel mesh that I'm just gonna add in the elevator. So you'll see this uh, light that I'm just gonna to attach to the top of this and scale it so that the whole thing's kind of lit up. All right, so that's pretty good. And now for my switch, I don't really need this right now, but I'm just gonna add it to make it look nice. So I'll add a elevator switch thing. So this button, I'll just put this here. This is not gonna serve any purpose because we haven't gone over interact stuff, but I'm just putting it here cause it looks nice. And then as for my box, I'm just gonna make sure it covers the inside only. And I'll hit compile and save. And now what I'm gonna wanna do is actually begin making my blueprint. Cause this looks, this looks pretty good. So if I were to, all right, so if I were to drag this out, uh, yeah, it has the light thing so I can see the inside and yeah, this looks pretty good. So now in my blueprint, in the event graph, I can delete all of these, don't really need these. And under my box, I'm gonna left click on box and then I'll scroll all the way down until I see events and I will do an on component begin overlap and I'll hit this plus sign. And just to make sure that we can go up and down I'm going to be adding a variable that's going to be a boolean called is moving up and I won't be able to set its default value that you'll see right here until I compile so I'll leave this as false for now so I'm going to want to drag this arrow out and type in branch which is a flow control and the condition is going to check is moving up the variable that we made so now what I'm going to want to do is if it's true, so now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is drag this out and then select set. And I'll do this two times. You can also copy paste after highlighting over it. So I'll set one to true and the other one to false. When it's set to false, I'm actually gonna leave this, I'm gonna turn this into true. And now I'll right click and type in timeline to create our animation. And in our timeline, I'm gonna double click this and add a float track. So I'll click plus on the track sign and add a float track. And I'll leave the length as five and I'll call this going up or down. You can name this whatever you want. And then I'll shift click twice just to put two of our dots here. And I'll highlight over one and set the time to zero and the value to zero. And then I'll highlight over the other one and select set the time to five because that's the track of our length. And this will pretty much control how long our elevator will take to go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. So in this case, I'll do five seconds and I'll set the value to 400. And the reason why I set 400 is because in our viewport, I'm gonna want the elevator to go up on the Z axis by 400. I'll reset this to zero, zero, zero. And back in my timeline, I can either click this button over here to, to basically zoom and see everything, or I can hit F on the keyboard. And I'm not gonna do any fancy animations or just, I'm just gonna leave it like this because elevator, it's a machine. It's not gonna have any nice smooth transitions unless you want it to kind of have like those little jittery that happens, like those little bump at the end of an elevator ride. But in my case, I'm just gonna leave it as a straight line. So I'll hit save and this is all we need for the timeline. So I'm gonna go back to the event graph if moving up is true, then we're going to go up since I set my Z axis or since I set my value to a positive 400, which is going to move the Z axis. 
But if we're not moving up, then we're going down. And I'm just going to set this is moving up. That's false to reverse. And this is basically like our flip flop method. And you'll see it play after we finish this part. So now we're going to update the relative location. So we're going to set the relative location of our elevator. And I'll leave this up here. And then I'll right click this new location and split the struct pin. And I'll do the going up or down only on the Z axis. So this is my four, my value of 400 that I'm setting to my new Z axis, which is the up and down part. So I'll go ahead and compile and save that. And this looks pretty good to me. So now what I'm going to want to do is just go to my third person map and I'll drag my elevator right here. So all I really did was copy paste this platform and put one up here. I just left it right here. And then I also um, broke this one off just so the elevator doesn't clip through and my character doesn't get smushed or whatever. And I'll leave this right here just so we can test if we can actually go up and down. So I'll hit play. And now when I go over to my elevator, we'll begin moving up. And yeah, it's kind of clipping through, but it's whatever. So now that we're up, our is moving up is set to false, which is now gonna flip flop and trigger our branch to play the timeline in reverse. And now when we go back in, it's gonna take us back down. And if I were to go in again, it would flip flop. So now that the is moving up is set to true, it's gonna play as normal. Oh my God, almost got smushed there. And yeah, that's pretty much how you make a very simplified elevator in Unreal Engine 5. Thanks for watching. Comment what you wanna see next. Like, subscribe, share, and if you want to support this channel, my Patreon is in the link below. It gives you access to my Discord, and I do prioritize tutorial requests from my Patreon supporters. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.